So over here, you can see that I have a project opened up. And let's say what I want to do is I want to make some changes to this particular project, but I uh, also like this original design. In that case, you can keep this design as it is and you can create a duplicate copy of this project so that you can work around on a copy and keep the original as it is. So over here on the top, you can see that this is design three right here. And this is the name of the project right now. So I'm just going to go around and rename this right here uh, for reference and see picture uh, of three right here just like this. So now I'm going to go around and duplicate out this project right here. So once I go around and duplicate it, what happens is that you can see that another uh, piece actually opens up right here. It actually refreshes right here. And then what happens is that now it says picture of three copy. So another copy of the file has been made. So I'm just going to go around over here and picture of three with background. Let's say, for example, so I'm going to go around and work around with that. And now over here, I'm going to work around with the background. So let's say I'm going to go around over here under, um, um, uh, under my media right here, just like this. And if I were to go around over here and bring in, let's say, for example, the mushroom picture right here, just like this. And then what happens is that this is what you have. I can set this out as a background. And now you can see that this particular project right now, it has a background with it. And the original project remains safe as it is. And that is how you can duplicate out projects inside of Microsoft Designer and keep the original project as it is uh, safe for future reference. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.